Automation Edge is building delightful workplace experiences. You can quickly map your business or IT processes to Automation Edge workflows for automation. Just like in any other application, logging is important for Automation Edge workflows. Automation Edge offers out-of-the-box logging and for additional logging, it offers the logging steps, write to log, debug log, and audit log. Hi, I'm Seema from Automation Edge Professional Services. I have created a series of videos for the logging steps. In this video, I will display the debug log step. Let us describe the debug log step. The debug log is a step in the Automation Edge Core plugin in Process Studio for use in workflows. You can add your comments, variables, and fields to the step to log for debugging. You can select from the log levels debug, info, warn, or error to collect logs at the level selected here or at higher level of severity. Logs are visible in the Process Studio log file when you run the workflow in Process Studio or the logs are visible in the agent log file and the Automation Edge portal agent log menu when you run the workflow from the Automation Edge portal and an Automation Edge agent executes the workflow. All logs at equal or higher level than this setting are visible in the Process Studio or agent logs. On top of the debug log step log setting, the workflow log level is governed by the log level set in the logger files. The Process Studio logger file log4j2.xml is in the Process Studio conf folder and the agent logger file log4j2.xml is in the agent conf folder. You can set the log level to debug, info, warn or error in the file. All logs at equal or higher level than this setting are visible in Process Studio or Agent Log files respectively. Now let us look at the debug log step configuration options in Process Studio. I'm in Process Studio. I have created a blank workflow debug log. Now let me drag and drop the debug log step on the canvas. Double click to configure the step. Now in the debug log step, we can add variables and fields for logging. Before I explain each of the configuration options, let me give a context to the step so that we have some fields and variables. Let me cancel this. I have added steps to create the context of a sales revenue workflow. In this workflow, the first step is a CSV input file. It reads data containing customer name, product, the quantity purchased, and the unit price. The next step is a calculator to calculate the sales revenue as a product of quantity and unit price. And the last step is a Microsoft Excel output step to store the customer, product, quantity, unit price, and total sales revenue amount. Let me connect the calculator step to the debug log and the debug log step to the Microsoft Excel output step. Let us configure the debug log. The first is the step name. Please provide a descriptive step name you can also write a step abbreviation followed by a descriptive name. For example, I have written a step abbreviation and I want to log sales revenue. In the log level, select a value from the drop down list. You can select from info, debug, warn, or error in ascending order of severity. The debug log step collects logs at the level selected here or at a higher level of severity. However, over and above the debug log step, the workflow base level is governed by the logger setting. In the Process Studio logger or the agent logger, log4j2 XML files. The log4j2 XML file is available in the Process Studio conf folder or the agent conf folder respectively. All logs at a higher level than the log4j2.xml file setting are stored in the Process Studio or agent log files. In the variables, you can write a comment. So for example, I've written debug log and you can add variables. Now, since this field has a dollar sign, you can also use the control space command to list the variables and select from the list. I have added the internal entry current directory, which refers to the current workflow directory. If you wish to enter more variables, you can provide a comma separated list. Now you can go to the fields tab to add the fields you want to debug. You can select the field names from the list or you can click the get fields to get all the fields at once. Now I wish to retain 
product and total price. The type field is auto-populated. Once the field name is selected, it is not editable. Let us click OK. In the debug log step, I have selected the log level info. Now let us check the logger files. The process studio logger file is in the process studio conf directory. So let me open the log4j2 XML. As you can see, for the process studio logger, the log level is info. I will leave it to info. Let us also check the agent logger. So in the agent conf directory, open the log4j2.xml. So my agent logger is open. And if you see for the agent logger, my level is info. I will leave it to info for now. We are now ready to execute the workflow. So first of all, let me run it in Process Studio. The workflow is complete. Now let us check the Process Studio log file. So in the logs directory, let me open the Process Studio log and the logs are captured at info level in the file. The workflow execution has started. It stores the information that is the comment, the variable value, and the field values for product and total price. And also notice it mentions that in the debug log step, the log level is info. Now the debug log step is also at info and our logger file that is the log4j2 XML setting is also info. I have published the workflow on the Automation Edge portal. Let's go to the portal. I'm in the Automation Edge portal catalog menu. Let me run the workflow for the debug log. Submit the request. Note the request ID. Let us check the requests menu. The request is complete. Now let us go to the logs menu and agent logs menu. Let me submit a new request for my request ID. My agent log is ready for download. I have extracted the zip folder. Let me check the agent logs. The workflow execution has started. Our agent logger was also at the level info and the log file shows that for our debug log step, the log level is info and it stores the comment that is debug log, the variable value that is the current workflow directory value and the product and the total price for each record. So you can see the first record, the second record and the third record. Let us recap. We saw the logging step, debug log, description and configuration options. We have seen how the log level of the debug log step as well as the setting in the logger files determines the level of info stored in the log files. Automation Edge can jumpstart your digital transformation journey with its conversational AI and hyper-automation platforms.